Welcome to my speedrunning tips series. This series is designed as a supplement to LimCube's excellent tutorial linked in the description. We will be covering backups and tips you might not know about the run. In this episode, we cover the first split in the any percent category, stasis. As you probably know, you should set your camera speed to very fast. Changing the language in the switch's system settings is the fastest, but you can save some of the time without changing your text language by going into the options menu. Set your split timer to start somewhere between negative 2.5 seconds and negative 1 second. This makes it so you don't have to start the timer at the same time you're trying to control Link. You want the timer to start on the first frame that's not black. As soon as the door starts to go up, you want to start smashing the scope button. Move the camera while you run and jump to get up on the platform. Smash the scope button at these exact angles. Link usually gets through at the second camera bump. You want to jump twice, then whistle sprint slightly to the right until you have a full stamina bar. Once you have a full stamina bar, jump three more times, and then whistle sprint all the way to the top. Crouch, and then uncrouch right at the black spot. If Link doesn't escape, you probably need to go a little bit more to the left. Right about here is when you need to stop whistle sprinting. If you keep whistle sprinting, the bokas will hear you. Each type of food you grab will only cost you about 3 seconds, so don't be afraid to grab food when you're still learning. I like to run a little bit right here to get the Boko's attention. Get close to this Boko so he's distracted. Press Y, Y again, and quickly X, then quickly A. This will cancel your attack so you can quickly get the bow. If you throw in here before you do your shield jump, you won't target the Boko's. If you have a full heart or more by the time you reach the top of this cliff, you don't need to eat food. If you're using this skew setup, your goal is to hit the front ledge of the shrine. Once you're used to clipping, you don't need to check your skew before you attempt. When you actually try to clip, it will be obvious if you have skew or not. As soon as you can, use your rune on the wheel. 
you want to cancel on the wheel about halfway through the platform. That way your rune is charged up again to use on the boulder. Even if you miss the boulder, you can just wait for it to pass and you only lose a couple seconds. This is a great time to make sure your shield is equipped. Line up your camera and run straight into the boulder. You want your second part of the shield jump to happen right when you're in line with the ground. If you don't manage to make it after unequipping your shield, make sure to eat enough food so you have one and a half hearts. To recover, just stasis the boulder, hit it, jump, cancel your hit, and finally use stasis to launch the boulder. Whenever Link comes to a stop is a great time to re-equip your shield, that way you won't lose any movement. This concludes the stasis segment. Next time, we'll cover Cryonis.